All right, guys, today you're in for a treat. Right now, I'm working on 100,000 views. I'm not there yet, but I'm getting close. And I've almost hit 1,000 subscribers. In the next month or so, I'll be there. But there are some growing pains involved. This 640 gig hard drive, it isn't enough to hold my videos anymore. I've done too much since then. So, everything's been copied onto this three terabyte drive. This is my new video repository. It has all the stuff I've previously produced as well as a bunch of videos that I'm not done editing yet. But it's not just videos that are on this old drive. This drive has tax information. It has all the expenditures I've done on my videos. It has priceless family photos on it and memories. But the big thing is, it has personal information, and I don't want that stuff to get into the wrong hands. Now, I've already used some BitBleach style formatting software, so there shouldn't be anything recoverable off this drive right now. But there's only one way to be sure, thermite. So I mixed up this thermite for another project. I was gonna try and make pyrotechnic glass, but it still isn't working right yet, and I don't have any awesome videos to share with you yet. So I'm gonna use it to destroy this hard drive. Let's get started. Now first I need to put the good hard drive up in my pocket. Now I'll take the bad hard drive, set it right here. All right. Now thermite is just iron oxide and aluminum powder and you can actually make this stuff at home if you can get access to the ingredients. Now let's get ready to ignite it. I've created a little well in the middle of the thermite so I can put some potassium permanganate there. And this should be able to ignite the thermite. Let's see. And in order to get the permanganate to light, I've got some glycerin. This is a really neat reaction, but don't try it at home. All right, we're committed. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Well, never let it be said we get things done the first time here on Voiding Warranties. I'm gonna go grab a sparkler. Let's see if this works. Yeah, it looks like there was still some thermite under there. It is burning nicely. I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. Let's uh, flip this thing over and see what we got. Yeah, some slag. Yeah, wow. 
did not do as good a job as I was hoping. I'm sure it is toasty, toasty hot. And maybe it made it through to the other side. Uh-oh. Well, I've got uh, good news and bad news. Um, the good news is the, the test was a success. I can see smoke uh, coming out of the inside, so obviously it got the aluminum hot enough to cook the platters. Um, bad news is this is my uh, three terabyte main data drive. Because, of course, this is the 640 gigabyte drive that I've already completely erased. Well, looks like we may have to call somebody for data recovery. Well, on that note, if you've liked this episode of Voiding Warranties, please click like. If you want to see more like it, click subscribe. And I will get uh, more videos like this just as soon as I record new content because all my existing stuff was on there. Such is life. But remember, keep on voiding warranties. Now I wondered, does this actually void the hard drive warranty? Uh, warranty will be void if seal, label, or cover is removed or damaged. Damaged, yes. Hmm.